Oh, thank God. Listen, sorry, one of my cows has just gone into labour. I could really do with some help. OK, what do you need to do? Barbara, if I hold Melody's head, I'm going to need somebody to go in and see if they can find the calf. You? My hands are too big, I'm afraid. Somebody with smaller hands. Come on. Sal, you're going to have to do it. John, I couldn't. Please, if we don't move quickly, we could lose her and her little calf. I'll talk you through it. Come on, it's OK. That's it. Get it in. That's it. All the way in. Ooh. All right, that's it. All the way in. Try a bit deeper. Oh, there's something hard. Ah, OK, now pull. That's it. All the way out. There we are. Marry me, Sal. What do you say? Nice one, Mum. Your hair looks lovely, Carol. I think it's a bit light. No, I like it. Shut it, will ya? Jibber jabber in my fucking ear all day long. I was just saying, your mum's hair looks nice. Shut up, bollock chops. Hair looks nice, Mum. So, Miriam, I'm more than confident that you're ready for the final stages of gender reassignment. So you've been living as a woman for... About 18 months. And you have no doubts about this transformation? None whatsoever. So all that remains for us to do now is to perform a simple operation where we remove your penis and testicles... Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind. What? It's a very simple operation where we're going to remove the testicles and the penis. You're fucking mental! Here! She wanted to cut my cock off. Now, please don't be distracted by Mr Peterson. You all have exams and so do teachers. Mr Peterson's here today to assess me as part of our Ofsted report. OK, looking this way, please. Thank you. Um, now, last week we talked about the origins of the solar system and how the gravitational pull of the sun drew the planets into a regular orbit. Uh, yes, David. What is gravity? That's a very, very good question. I've actually got quite a good way of demonstrating gravity using this. Now, if we imagine this ball is the Earth and I'm the Sun, you can see how the, the ball is kept in orbit by gravity represented by the string. Yeah, I see that. But in a real situation with Earth and Sun, there is no string. There's just gravity. And I don't know what that is. It's actually very complicated, David, all right? Just give me the broad strokes. I hardly think we can give you the broad strokes of gravity, can we, Mr Peterson? Well, I don't know. Perhaps we could. Yeah, go oh, on, on, Miss. Please, 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 please. Please. Would it, Miss? On. Tell us. Who'd like to see my pants? Yay! Can I have a quick word, Jan? Um, can it wait? I'm in the middle of an Ofsted report. Could you repeat that for me, please, sir? Honestly, mate, she wanted to cut me cock off. See you, Oscar. How did uh, Elvis go then? Elvis, what? Is that true, that on the toilet? And what? Yeah, he's sitting on the toilet. Eating yeah, a burger? Uh, I don't know if he died in a hamburger in his hand or not. But That's a nice image, yeah? Huh? No, How did no. Jesus go then? Or did he? I don't know. Um, I don't think there's any lies in the Bible, so he probably got killed and then rose again. And then what happened after he rose again? Uh, I, I don't know in my Bible. No, I think people were a little bit they believe anything did he even heal anyone though there's lots of people he didn't heal like who wheelchair McManus he Such. never got done did he if you could heal people you should be doing it all the time don't bowl up to heaven in your 30s he was 28 wasn't he was he I think same so. age as George Best mm, what? well no George Best was 27 when he retired from top flight football I mean same age as George Best when he was 28 that's true as well there's parallels there aren't there they never both of them had boutiques in the King's Road and uh, they both never did training and all that, so... Yeah. That's... No one's ever touched on that before, actually. Both had beards, both had long hair. That's true. Both really shit with crossies. <laughs> Good morning. 
Today it's going to be mainly dry in the southeast, but it'll remain overcast throughout the afternoon, brightening up slightly towards the evening. Quite like yesterday, really. The perfect kind of day to take your girlfriend out for dinner and propose, maybe. Especially if you've been together for nearly five years, you know. Not the sort of day where you end up staying in again and your boyfriend just watches TV and doesn't really look at you or talk to you. And then when you say, what's the matter? He says, can you just leave me alone, please? And then you start crying and saying, I thought you were going to propose tonight. And he looks all weird and starts saying things like, I'm not sure what I think about marriage anymore and I don't really know what I want. As if the time you've spent together has all been a complete lie and meant nothing. Reynolds! Move your ass, Reynolds. It's time to get up. Saw Kenny last weekend. He's at the post office, running his own business. Window replacement. Do you not my tea? Oi, ask your question. Do you not my tea? Oh, 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 oh. You're my wife now, Reynolds. You're married to me. You're my wife. Not saying that I'll marry a bird off the internet, but it is a it's a much bigger thing now than it was even five years ago. Like dating off the internet. Well, that um, one of my mates went on it, and on the Tuesday he signed up, and, all that, and he was chatting to somebody. <laughs> on Wednesday he was married. Well, it was like a Craig Davidson. By Friday he was up in noise, giving her one. Come back, get away. La petite Jackie, tu es la femme la plus délicieusement maladroite que je connais. Oh, tu crois, André? J'en suis sûr. Elle est encore plus maladroite. Pourquoi faire un petit truc? Il faut que tu m'embrasses plus souvent, cher André. Hum, facile. Tu sais, Jackie, je t'aime pas. Oh, je le sais, André. Mais je sais aussi que tu perds ton temps avec ma tante. Hum, rien de caché. Oh, ne sais pas de rire. Tu m'embrasses plus souvent, cher André. OK, uh, let's just stop it there for a sec. Can we revisit some of these subtitles? Sure. Yeah, just one um, little query, really. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm not fluent in French by any means. But I think what he's actually saying is that he's leaving her because he needs to grow as a person. And there's actually nothing about an A to Z or Russell Turner. Oh, OK, right. It's not meant to be a literal translation, though, is it? It's more capturing the essence. Fair enough, yeah. It's just I think that most people don't know who Russell Turner is. Or he's a twat. OK, point taken. If we take the title sequence... Sure. Well, the film's called Le Règle du Jeu, The Rules of the Game. Yeah, it is. And you've subtitled it... Russell Turner is a king cockmuncher. Do you see... What I'm getting at. Look, Alex, if you want to get another subtitle, that's. No, 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 absolutely not. Um, you speak French. I don't. Good, good stuff. Let's crack on. See the old match then last night, Phil? No, mate, no, I was busy. It was good, was it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, though, Phil. I'm not that way, obviously. Far from it. But if I had to, you know, if I really had to, if I was forced to, him, that's who I'd give it to. Sorry? You know, if I was made to. I'm just saying, if I had to bloody well choose, that's who I'd choose to go with. Oh, right, yeah. So what was it, a, a draw then, was it? Yeah, yeah, football, yeah. Big old draw, again. 
Yes, sir. -y. Yeah, I'll be like an iron bar, me. Just oh, like that. Oh, yeah, all the way. Mm. I mean, I'm not into all that shit, but you know, if I had to, just bam, 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 bam. Yeah, they made me. You know, they forced me. Someone coming in now forced me to go that way. That's who I'd nail, Mark. Real good. Right, yeah. Or Steve-O. Yeah, Steve-O. Fucking oil him up and slide it into him. Just Steve-O! Oh! Yeah. Mm. Hello, Stevie! Mm. Just get him over the old bar there and just... Oh! Get me up to all right. That is revolting, isn't it? Oh! Uh. <coughs> Obviously, I'd always prefer a lovely lady's vagina to a man's horrible bum hole. Horrible, isn't it? Horrible mental image I've painted there. Yuck. Hello, Reynolds. Need a lift. Reynolds! Look at this! The old firm back together again. We're off to do one last job. What do you say, Reynolds? You in? If we're talking modern and functional, it has to be the micro-compact smart car. It appeals to so many, not just in shape, but also in practicality and sheer size. But in the end, to discuss product design without mentioning Philip Stark is like discussing art without mentioning Da Vinci. The Vienna cafe chair, designed over a hundred years ago and yet still ubiquitous. If it's product design you're after, it's got to be the Cockmaster VL2. It sits just nice around your knob, goes in there lovely. We're talking here about form and function. What is its function in society? It wanks you off, darling. Yes, but there's no effort in its design, there's no form. It's in the form of a realistic vagina. I don't believe the Cockmaster VL2 is really worth considering in this debate. Have you ever been wanked off by one? Of course not. Well, there you go then. Don't knock it till you tried it. Sir, how can I help you? Uh, the screen's gone blank. <gasps> what happened to it? I dropped it. It's about two years worth of work on this. Oh, um, doesn't look very good. Well, I found something. Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 what are you laughing at? <laughs> that, was, that wasn't on there when I gave it you. <laughs> Shall I delete it for you then? No, I'll, I'll delete it. Just give it back. Is it only celebrities that can have a catchphrase? A well, what, a, a well known catchphrase, but friends can have catchphrases, obviously. That's rubbish, though, isn't it? You wouldn't get it. Is that your catchphrase? That's rubbish though, isn't it? Yeah. That could work. It, it does work. It's rubbish though. Yeah, it's rubbish, but that's uh, that life imitating art though. That's great. No, if I was That's have a great! Catch that's thing. mine. <laughs> that's great! It's not a bad catchphrase. Thank you. It's more positive than mine, to be fair. That's great! But is that a catchphrase though? Well, what is a fucking catchphrase in? It's not what you say, it's who says it. That's great! Yeah. Is it? Yeah, but that could be a catchphrase, but you've got to be famous to have a catchphrase. Well, I'm trying to get famous by just saying my catchphrase. <laughs> See, that, that catchphrase, people just think, oh, he's just this... Swinging, dodgy. Fuck off! That's... Yeah, that's great. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Where do you think you're going? Oh, come on, mate. I've got to be done by half seven. Don't give me any grief. Yeah, but there's half a billion quid's worth of share certificates in there. 
Let's see your pass. All right, mate. Sorry, I didn't recognise your face, you know. So what, you're the new cleaner then, are you? No, I'm a con man. Oh, shit. Oh. <clears throat> so, uh, who'd you choose then? Out of interest, you know, if you had to. I don't know, mate. I'm not really into all that stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, uh, who is? <clears throat> but I'm saying if you had to. Mate, I really wouldn't feel comfortable doing Nah. Oh, me either. That is revolting, isn't it? It's like saying I have a nightmare. <sighs> but I'm talking gunpoint, yeah? You know, these bastards, they might, you know, make you choose. Who? Who's going to do that? I don't know, you know, the sort of sick fucks that make people do that shit. Who'd you choose? I don't know. Jamie, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Jamie. Hey. Little Jamie. Come and eat this, Jamie. All the way in. Ooh, come and get your pudding. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Jamie. He'd be in my top five, little bitch. You got a top five? You got to have a top five, Phil. Don't you? You got to. Just in case. Right. Yeah, I bet Jamie would have sex with me. He's so... <laughs> bent. Look, Tone, mate, no one minds, you know. If you're gay, it's not a problem. I might go it's and fine. ask him. Bloody gay lord. This'll get him, right? This'll catch him out. I bet he'll say yes, the big bender. Yeah, probably. That's what I'm gonna do. Well, go on then. I will. Going for a coffee. You know what that means, don't you? My cock in his ring. Ooh. Oh, what a queer. Dining room, south facing rear garden. So, have you just uh, moved out from London? Yes, it's so much nicer here. I've been thinking of moving for quite a while. Although the house prices are practically the same as in London. But compared to London, it's so quiet. It must be so nice to be by the sea. Even if you don't go down there every day. As they bring in that new railing, it'll be so nice and convenient. And the uh, master bedroom's just upstairs. Can you live in the house? Oh, yeah. You don't love me, friends. Tomorrow at three, we'll be ready for three bombs. How can you hold me? Today? No, tomorrow. Here we are then. Oh, thanks, Mum. These look lovely, Carol. They're only ham, cheese, and tomato. No, the bread looks nice and fresh. Oi! Put a sock in it, will ya? Nobody wants you piping up every five fucking seconds. I was just saying, the bread looks nice. Shut up, bollock chops. <coughs> nice bread, Mum. I said to myself, I want to. You want to? Один мой знакомый, бельгийский офицер, служил в Конго. Он там был один, только 50 его черных солдат. Зачем вы мне это говорите? Я спрашиваю, чем? 
Чем мы, цивилизованные люди, отличаемся от дикарей? Если не убей. А что муж? А утром мы голову рубили. Бриллиант, бриллиант. You're happy with all this, yeah? Yeah, great. Good. In which continent is the spectacled bear found? Big Starkest Africa, I think it's it is. South it? America, actually. Oh. What's the French national anthem called? Le Marseillais. Bollocks. I'll go with bollocks. Dun 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 bollocks. We are a nation of absolute mugs. We don't like to fight in the wars now. And we're scared of everything that moves. And we got bad breath and we're scared of girls and stuff. I want that as my ringtone actually. I realise this is a, an awful time for me to be bringing this up. Now, I understand your father didn't carry a, a donor card. However, I have taken the liberty of removing one of his kidneys. As there's a young lady at a nearby hospital who is in desperate, desperate need. Well, I'm sure that's what he would have wanted. Thank you so much. Are you the doctor that tried to save his life? No, I'm a con man. Oh, shit! <laughs> um,